He that loveth his son giveth busily beatings to him, that he be glad in his last thing, and that the son touch not the doors of neighbors. 2. He that teacheth his son shall be praised in him, and shall have glory in him in the midst of menial. Verse 3. He that teacheth his son sendeth the enemy into envy, and in the midst of friends he shall have glory in that son. 4. The father of him is dead, and he is as not dead, for he hath left after him a son like him. 5. He say in his life, and was glad in him, and in his death he was not sorry, neither was ashamed before enemies. 6. For he left a defender of the house against enemies, and yielding grace to friends. 7. For the souls of sons he shall bind together his wounds, and his entrails shall be disturbed on each voice. 8. An horse untamed, either unchastised, shall escape hard, and a son unchastised shall escape heady. 9. Flatter thou the son, and he shall make thee dreading. Play thou with him, and he shall make thee sorry. 10. Lie thou not with him, lest thou have sorrow together. And at the last thy teeth shall be a stony. 11. Give thou not power to him in youth and despise thou not his thoughts. 12. Bow thou his neck in youth, and beat thou his side while he is a young child, lest peradventure he wax hard, and believeth not to thee, and he shall be sorrow of soul to thee. 13. Teach thy son, and work in him, lest thou offend into the filth of him. 14. Better is a poor man whole, and strong in might, than a rich man feeble, and beaten with malice. 15. The health of soul is in the holiness of rightfulness, and it is better than any gold and silver, and a strong body is better than full much cattle. 16. No cattle is above the cattle of health of body, and no liking is above the joy of heart. 17. Better is death than bitter life, and everlasting rest is better than sickness dwelling continually. 18. Good is hidden in a closed mouth than is setting forth at meat set about a sepulcher. 19. What shall sacrifice profit to an idol? For why it shall not eat, neither shall smell. 20. So he that is driven away from the Lord and beareth the meads of wickedness. 21. Saying with iron and wailing inwardly as a gelding beclippant a virgin, and saying, 22. Give thou not sorrow to thy soul, and torment not thyself in thy counsel. 23. Mirth of heart, this is the life of man, and is treasure of holiness without unfailing, and full out joying of a man is long life. 24. Have thou mercy on thy soul, and please thou God, and hold together and gather together thine heart in the holiness of him, and put far away sorrow from thee. 25. For why sorrow hath slain many men, and none health is therein. 26. Envy and wrathfulness shall make less days, and thoughts shall bring illness before the time. 27. A shining heart is good in meat, for why meat thereof been made diligently. Romans chapter 30.